Okay, let's have a good look around this uh, 1988 e-registration uh, VW Golf GTI Mark I Carmen Cabriolet all-white edition. It's a 1.8 as well. Um, obviously finished in white with a white hood and white interior. It's got the full clipper body kit that the later 88 cars should have, um, which is the bigger bumpers and the um, um, wider arch covers and sill covers and things like that. Um, also got a set of uh, Milli Milia alloys with it, which are quite nice. Possibly it's been lowered an inch, I'm not sure. But maybe, maybe not. You decide. Um, standard car, not been messed with, apart from the immobiliser. Um, and say so possibly haven't been lowered. And with those alloys, but apart from that, it's, uh, it's standard. Uh, let's just go around in a bit more detail. Obviously, it's 21 years old now, so there's a few minor blemishes on it here and there. Looking around it in detail, we've got a uh, little bit of um, rust just coming. It hasn't broken through the paint, but um, well, it hasn't broken through the metal. A bit of rust just there where my finger is on the bonnet leading edge. Bonnet, apart from that, it's got a couple of minor stone chips on it here and there, but otherwise pretty good. Front bumper uh, looks okay, except the... Um, uh, the near side front bumper corner's got a parking scuff on it. Obviously has been touched in just around there in white at some point. Looking down the near side, all looks pretty straight and clean down there. Um, nothing to get too worked up about. Around the bottom of the screen here, there's a couple of rust areas just uh, sort of poking through the paint just there. And I think it might have had a little bit of paint work around here at some point in the past. Um, probably to treat previous, uh, previous bubbling just there. Um, screen is fine as a chip just there, but obviously that's outside the MOT area. Um, passenger door is all in good shape. Let's look at the hood first of all. The hood, although it's a bit discoloured, is actually in great shape. It's not the usual horror where they're all sort of um, torn and split around the edges and down the back here. Um, the hood's in really good shape. As I say, it just needs a good going over with some hood cleaner really to, uh, to bring the white colour back. Um, more of a slightly grey colour at the moment. But yeah, it's all nice around there. Um, oh. Keys are in it, I have to do it from the other side. Because um, they don't have central lock in these. Uh, da, 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 da. What else can I tell you? Um, near side rear wing is good. We've got a tiny bit of scuffing just there on the back of the near side rear arch. That's just dirt from where I've just gone through a puddle. Annoying having just washed it. Um, rear window is all nice. Heated window. Boot lid is good. The rear bumper. Um, has lost a fair bit of paint. There's sort of paint loss all around here and it's been touched in and stuff in the past. Really sort of could do with <coughs> excuse me, a full repaint the rear bumper. Um, just rear bumper's a bit scabby all around really. I think, I think these are plastic on these. Yeah. So um, a paint on the rear bumper wouldn't go amiss. Uh, looking down the offside, once again all pretty straight and clear and it's still got all its trim strips on it which uh, apparently is quite unusual for one of these. Um, once again, the hood on the offside, a bit grubby, but the fit's great round there. It's not um, ripped or torn at all in the corners. All up here, that's all nice. Um, around the base, of, or around the offside rear arch lip, there's some uh, a few bits of bubbling just coming up through the paint just under here, um, where my finger is, there and there. Uh, a couple of tiny spots on the edge of the driver's door. Of course, being white, it shows every blemish like this. Um, one spot there on the driver's door, tiny bit on the bottom of the near offside front wing, uh, and there's a little bit on the scuttle just up here underneath the um, underneath the screen, just on the, the edge of the scuttle, just there. Uh, once again, a tiny parking scuff that's been touched in on the offside front bumper corner. Interior-wise, it's nice. It could do with um, a good uh, a good clean um, to get these seats back to their. Uh, their normal state, um, especially the passion seat base is a bit stained, but the seats themselves are in great shape actually. The, uh, there's no real wear on the seats at all, including on the driver's seat, unusually. Edge of the driver's seat super. Uh, there's a tiny fag burn just there in the edge of the driver's seat, which is disappointing, but apart from that, so just it's a bit discoloured and stained. Um, in the back, it's got inertia reel belts in it, um, ooh, looks like a can of uh, deodorant as well. Um, which can come with it if you like. Um, rear seats are nice, you've got those big Pioneer speakers in the back. Um, 
dash is good, wheels nice, all the door panels are good. I mean, the interior is spot on, can't fault it really. Headline is good in the, um, uh, the hood. Yeah, that's all exactly as it should be. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 if you've got any issues or queries that you want to discuss with regard to this uh, Golf 1.8 GTI um, Carmen, Carmen Cabrio. End.